Welcome to the Your Home Sold Guaranteed Radio Show, where you get advice you can trust. From the latest real estate trends to the best mortgage rates, from home selling tips to home warranty, this is the talk show that will help you make the most money when selling your most valuable asset and save the most money when buying. Now, here are your hosts, Dave McKay, along with Wally Kerr, broker and founder of Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty in Oklahoma City. Well, good morning, Wally. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing great, Dave. Hope you've had a good week this week. It was an interesting week. Whenever there's a holiday or uh, something mixed in like that, it kind of throws everything off just a little bit. Life gets a little unbalanced, but it's been a fun week. Boy, that one lost day uh, just really compacts it in, doesn't it? So it's been a busy week, too, but a good week for us. Fantastic. Uh, Let's get right into uh, today's show. What are our topics on tap for today? Great. We're going to talk today about increases in property taxes for those who recently purchased a home. Dave, this week I had an email from a listener, somebody who found my email address, and emailed me and asked me about property taxes. We're going to talk about that today. Okay. We're going to um, have Chris Doak in with Gateway Mortgage today. He's going to talk about the day-by-day volatility of current home loan interest rates and also maybe some down payment assistance programs and good programs that are available right now for home buyers okay. looking for the best financing options. Dave, we're going to also talk about the tight inventory out there right now. The fact that there's just not enough homes for sale to satisfy buyers and the fact that it is really the best time for a homeowner to sell a home. Yes. We're in buying and selling season That's like right. we talk about. We right? are. We have five open houses this weekend. We'll talk about that. Our listeners can go out and see some great homes this weekend if they would like to on Sunday. And then uh, we'll wrap up our show with a really important Realtor.com report, some research that came out this week. Everything I read in that article, Dave, I said, yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. And we'll share that with our listeners today. Okay, awesome. And we'll be right back and we're going to talk about the uh, local market update and what that's doing right after this. To schedule an appointment with Wally Kerr to help you buy or sell your home, call 405-330-3000 or go to wallysguarantee.com. Wally will be right back with more of the Your Home Sold Guaranteed radio show right here on KOKC. I'm Wally Kerr, and if you didn't know, there's six big reasons why homeowners like you choose to list their home for sale with us. First is our offer to sell your home at a price agreeable to you, or we'll buy it ourselves. How can we do this? We've got an extensive list of pre-vetted home buyers for every area in the metro waiting for their dream home to come available, and that home may be yours. I'll show you our list of buyers when we meet. And our partnership with Zillow is the third reason why we have so many buyers wanting tours of homes just like yours. MLS data shows that our listings have sold faster and for more money on average for four years in a row. But don't take my word for it. We have hundreds of online reviews at both Google and Zillow. See what our customers say about us. I'm a 35-year broker with over 4,000 home closings, and I'm ready to work for you. Call me at 405-330-3000 at your home sold guaranteed realty, or simply visit wallyhasthebuyers.com. I look forward to talking to you myself. Call me at 330-3000. 330 3000. Finding the right mortgage can be stressful. From knowing which program fits your situation the best to identifying the best terms. Hi, I'm Chris Doak with Gateway Mortgage. I work closely with you every step of the way, from pre-qualification to helping you choose the home loan that's right for you. My promise is to provide transparency, timely communication, personal service, and closings on time. Eliminate the stress. Call me today at 405-253-2276. That's 405-253-2276. I look forward to working with you. Gateway Mortgage, a division of Gateway First Bank, NMLS 7233, Equal Housing Lender. Buying or selling a home? Is your older home having issues in the crawl space or attic? Is your new home about to reach the end of its one-year warranty? Todd Stewart, owner of Oklahoma Home Inspection Service, has been serving residential and commercial clients since 1985. He will give you the confidence of knowing your building systems are safe and operating as they should. Enjoy the peace of mind you deserve. Call Oklahoma Home Inspection Service today at 405-366-8889. That's 405-366-8889. If you're selling your home or buying a home and would like to schedule an appointment with Wally, call 405-330-3000 or go to wallysguarantee.com. Now back to the Your Home Sold Guaranteed radio show with your hosts, Dave McKay and Wally Kerr. Wally, you got an update for us for uh, the market, how things are doing this week? I do. I think uh, that our listeners, I know you enjoy the market updates because, hey, I know what you do for a living and you're awfully good at it. (laughs) To be as good at what you are, Dave, and what you do in the radio industry, I don't expect you to be able to keep up with the real estate market and what it's doing 
you can probably see it from the outside. Sure. I think our yes. listeners feel the same. Yes. So, you know, despite the frequent fluctuation with home interest rates and what's going on right now, because they are swinging up and down, we'll talk to Chris Doak about that. David's buying and selling season. Been talking about that for weeks. Yes, we, we have. Okay, so there is some reason to believe that home prices will probably peak this month, this year, and that typically happens traditionally in June. There are buyers that are scrambling to find homes right now that fit their family's needs. The inventory of homes, again, remains very low in most every part of the metro. It does depend on the price point. Higher priced homes have probably been affected a little bit more by the rise in interest rates. I see that number of homes for sale lower than it this time last year, Dave, but there's also fewer buyers. There are fewer okay. sellers and fewer buyers, and we're going to talk about that today. And those usually segments. work in concert with each other. Well, they, right? they normally do, but they sure didn't last year or the year before okay. when there was so much demand and the market was kind of almost what you'd say out of control. We'll talk about that during our show today. Okay. So we'll talk about this, and, and again, we'll get Chris Doak in here with Gateway Mortgage today to get an update on financing and what he sees inside the market. Awesome. Okay, so you said earlier that you received an email from a listener. Tell me what that email was. What were they asking? Here's the email. Hey, Wally, this is Sean. I've got a question about property taxes on the home I bought late in 2021. I had a big jump in my property taxes last year. They went up by 45% in a single year. That's a big number, almost 50%. So let's say he didn't give me any numbers, but for our listeners... Let's say that someone, um, the property taxes were 2000 a year. So if they went up 45%, my math tells me that the taxes on that home went from 2000 a year to $2,900 yes. a year. That's a big increase. Yes. Okay. Sean continues to say, isn't there a statute that limits how much taxes can go up in a single year? Our payment, and that's a question he put, isn't there a statute? as to how much they can go up. And our payment jumped up, Wally, more than we anticipated. Can you comment on this? And is there anything I can do about it? Yeah, that would be very concerning if you really kind of budget what your house payment is, your car payment and everything, and you have a little bit of money set aside, but all of a sudden something jumps up that high. Great question. Tell me about that statute. Is there something that can control how much it can go, or is it just the wild west yeah there is dave so first of all let's go back to that and just use those numbers that i threw out there whether that was sean's case or not let's say that taxes went up from 2000 to 2900 a year okay so a 900 dollars increase and how many payments do you make per year on a home 12 12 so 900 divided by 12 my quick math says that's 75 dollars more a month yes so what sean's saying is we didn't expect our payment to go up $75 a month just because of the ins- uh, the tax costs. Yes. Because insurance is going up too. We've had a lot of hailstorms the last few years, a lot of big hailstorms here in the Oklahoma City metro area and across the state. And that makes insurance rates go up. So when taxes and insurance go up, if you're making a payment on your home and you're escrowing for taxes and insurance, your payment's going to go up, right? Yeah. Yep. So here's the statute. I made sure that I got the information from the Cleveland County Tax Assessor, and it's actually an Oklahoma statute, Dave. So if you own a home today, which you do, I know you're a homeowner, and you've owned your home for several years now, your assessed value can't go up more than 5% per year. Okay. Your assessed value, so, and this has to do with your taxes, okay? They can't raise them more than 5% on your assessed value. I'm going to make that super simple. Okay. Let's say your taxes are $2,000 $2,000 last year. Okay. And they're going to go up 5%. Okay. Yes. So they're going to go up to $2,100. Yes. Okay. That would be based on assessed value. And it may not be quite that linear, but that's a pretty close example. Okay. Now, as long as you're living in the home, your assessed value can't go up more than 5% per year. It also can't go down more than 5% per year. Okay. Okay. But if your home sells And you put it on the market. So that's probably what's happened to Sean here. Sean either bought a brand new home where the new home, when he bought it, just was built. And so there were only taxes on the lot that the home was sitting on, the land that it was sitting on. Then the county assessor goes out after he's living in the home, decides what it's worth, and puts a what we call a full assessment or, in some cases, a partial assessment to determine what taxes are going to be. My guess is Sean bought a home in 2021 that probably had not sold in a bunch of years. And here's what happens. 
the values have risen so fast. We talked about this We've in a previous that. show. This remember? is starting to ring a bell now. Yes, okay, because so, the value can increase one hundred and fifty thousand dollars on a home that was two hundred. Now it's three hundred fifty thousand. Those taxes have gone up just a little bit, creeping along in the last 10, 15 years. You bought it, and now they come out and they assess the value of the home. You're right. Now it's three fifty. Well, now the taxes are based on that. It's like a clean slate, right? When a home sells, you go out, you get the value. This is now what the property taxes. That's are. right. That's exactly okay. right. So, if so the home, yes, if the home was being assessed for let's say two hundred and thirty thousand dollars in value and now it goes in and sells for three hundred thirty thousand dollars the county assessor says oh we're looking at our records and we were only assessing that home for a two hundred and thirty thousand dollar value yes but it sold for three hundred and thirty thousand dollars so that must be the actual market value so we're going to raise our taxes accordingly now dave they can do that in the year of purchase and my understanding is that can be corrected to whatever the assessor wants it to be okay based on value so they're going to look at what it's sure, sold for sure and they could raise that assessed value up to market value in that year of purchase i don't know if it's a year after purchase if it's 12 months or if it's only in that calendar year that i wasn't able to ascertain but i know that's what sean's talking about is i bought a home and hey my taxes went up 45 percent. the only way that could happen dave if he bought that home sure the assessed value was too low I see a lot of homes that haven't sold for 10 and 15 and 20 years. Those assessed values are really low, Dave. They're really far behind on value. You can find a home that might have a $110,000 assessed value that might go sell for $250,000, like what you're saying. Yeah. And they can reassess the taxes based on the new value and what it sold for. Now, from then on out, Sean only has to worry about a max 5%. 5% change in the assessed value each year, which is going to mean about a 5% sure. change in So taxes. that means when you're going into purchasing that home, you want to see what the property taxes are on it and then kind of get an idea. You need to have a ballpark in your head knowing that that's going to change. And when you go in to purchase that house for that price, knowing that, yeah, that's going to jump up exponentially. Dave, you just reminded me exactly what I needed to say to our listeners today. And that is, look very carefully at the assessed value. You can check those out at the assessor's site. So it's like clevelandcountyassessor.com, okay. oklahomacountyassessor.com, canadiancountyassessor.com, Logan County Assessor. Go in and take a look at the assessed value. And if you're buying a home, let's make up an example, okay? Okay. Let's say you're going in and you're buying a home and you see the assessed value is $210,000. But I'm buying it for three twenty. But you're buying it for three twenty. dollars You know your taxes are going to go up a yes, bunch. Yes, yes. So your realtor, someone like me, should be able to calculate that increase in taxes. Or you could even call the assessor's office okay. and say, um, hey, you know, I'm going to pay this for this house and I see the assessed value is a lot lower I believe I'm paying market value. I'd like to know how much my taxes are going to go up okay. so we that can you can put that, that in that budget you talked about a few minutes ago. So let's just say I'm having fun and I'm clicking around on Zillow and I see a home. And if I see it, it was last sold in 2003 and it shows the property taxes, well, I know that's not what it's going to be because I know it's really going to, um, and it shows what it sold for. And again, it might be one of those where it sold for 230 and they're listing it for 340 or whatever. I know that's going to be higher. What you're saying is is a home that sold in 2003, it's increased so much in value. I mean, it's yes. probably doubled or maybe 120, 30, 40% of what it sold for last time. Maybe that's 220, sure. 30, 40%. Okay. Percent. So if you're buying a home today and it hasn't sold in a number of years, your property taxes really could spike. They could go up a lot. Look, if you're listening and this is happening to you, it happened to you, you're thinking about buying a home, give me a call and I'll help with this. I can estimate taxes for you. I'll be able to give you a pretty accurate number yeah. because I know what the tax rates are in each neighborhood and I can help you with this so that you don't get stuck with your payment going up more than what you thought it would. Give Wally a shout, 330-3000. Get those questions answered. And we got some questions for our next guest that will be coming up. It's Chris Doak from Gateway Mortgage. He joins us next. 
Finding the right mortgage can be stressful. From knowing which program fits your situation the best to identifying the best terms. Hi, I'm Chris Doak with Gateway Mortgage. I work closely with you every step of the way, from pre-qualification to helping you choose the home loan that's right for you. My promise is to provide transparency, timely communication, personal service, and closings on time. Eliminate the stress. Call me today at 405-253-2276. That's 405-253-2276. I look forward to working with you. Gateway Mortgage, a division of Gateway First Bank. NMLS 7233, Equal Housing Lender. Buying or selling a home? Is your older home having issues in the crawl space or attic? Is your new home about to reach the end of its one-year warranty? Todd Stewart, owner of Oklahoma Home Inspection Service, has been serving residential and commercial clients since 1985. He will give you the confidence of knowing your building systems are safe and operating as they should. Enjoy the peace of mind you deserve. Call Oklahoma Home Inspection Service today at 405-366-8889. That's 405-366-8889. I'm Wally Kerr, and if you didn't know, there's six big reasons why homeowners like you choose to list their home for sale with us. First is our offer to sell your home at a price agreeable to you, or we'll buy it ourselves. How can we do this? We've got an extensive list of pre-vetted home buyers for every area in the metro waiting for their dream home to come available, and that home may be yours. I'll show you our list of buyers when we meet. And our partnership with Zillow is the third reason why we have so many buyers wanting tours of homes just like yours. MLS data shows that our listings have sold faster and for more money on average for four years in a row. But don't take my word for it. We have hundreds of online reviews at both Google and Zillow. See what our customers say about us. I'm a 35-year broker with over 4,000 home closings, and I'm ready to work for you. Call me at 405-330-3000 at your home sold guaranteed realty, or simply visit wallyhasthebuyers.com. I look forward to talking to you myself. Call me at 330-3000. 330-3000. And we're back, and I'd like to welcome in our guest, Chris Doak from Gateway Mortgage. Chris, good morning. Thanks so much for having me. Great being with you guys again. It's good to have you. Right off the bat, want to ask a question about the market. I know there's been a lot of volatility, frequent changes in interest rates jumping up and down. How long has it been since you've seen a market like this? Yeah, that's a great question uh, and a loaded question. I, I will just tell you in 15 <laughs> years of doing this, last year was obviously uh, historic in the increases that we had. A few years ago were historic in the decreases we had. But I would just say this volatility isn't anything like it was last year and the the amount of spikes that we had and the large increases. We have some hiccups right now, but it's been a great week from our perspective. Rate-wise, they've come down some this week. Okay, I can give you some more thought around that, but it has been a good week from that perspective uh, after moving up for the last few weeks. Yeah, Chris, I think a week ago you and I talked and rates were about seven. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you know, midweek, they're down closer to six and a half. Yeah. So there is volatility, but there's been some good news this week, hasn't yeah, there? Yeah, there really has. And, and I think it all stems from folks thinking the Fed may increase their rate in June or July. Uh, a lot of folks thought that they would not, which is why a lot of experts thought they would go down in May. They started to shoot up in May. And the reason this week, there is some thought now that the Fed is not going to increase their rate in June. And so that made them come down a little bit this week. Well, that deserves a hallelujah if that yeah. happens. Yeah. You know? yeah, Agree. Absolutely. Agree. No doubt about it. And it's, it's, so it's been a good week from that perspective. Okay. So it's that time of the year, of course. It's buying and selling season. The summer is the best time, of course. People are moving their families and everything. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, our listeners have been out there. They found the house they want. Now they have to start shopping those home loans. That's what right. advice do you have? have for them when they yep. uh, start to venture out to do that. Yeah, what I would love to say is before we find that house, let's do this. Let's <laughs> okay. let's work on pre-qualification. And, and the biggest reason around that, we want them to be educated and have guardrails around while they shop so that they don't go find a house that they fall in love with, make an emotional decision, and then come back on the back end and look at the financing and go, actually, this isn't anywhere in my budget that it needs to be. And that does happen. It, and it, and it does. can be very disappointing and very stressful to a family yeah. who finds... Yeah. what they believe is their dream home. And there's yeah. just something not quite right there yep. on credit, income, job history to exactly. make that happen. Exactly. 
That's so I know pre-approvals are good, and we've talked about um, pre-authorization or what is it? Um, pre-qualification. Pre-qualification. Yeah, yeah. There we go. That's what yeah. I was trying to draw that yeah. out. So if you go get those done, uh, is that going to jump you ahead of maybe some people? Or how? what do they need to do, I should say, to compete in the market right now to win the house they want? Yeah, great question. Even though there's fewer buyers on the market today than there were last year because rates, the, the, the spike in rates a little bit, I will just tell you there's still multiple offers. Wally, are you seeing multiple offers on properties, still some? Yeah, it depends on the price range for sure, Chris. Yeah. But I'd say under three hundred thousand, generally under three hundred, three fifty, right. definitely under two seventy five. Lots of multiple offers. Now not as many. Not like as many. you said as last year and That's the year right. before. That's right. But where it might have been ten last year, maybe yep. it's five offers this year. So yeah. yeah, I really like the idea. My buyers can compete better for a home with your pre-approval letter right. because Gateway carries a lot of yeah. clout. You're in 43 states, 43 is that states. right? That's oh, right, wow. but, but headquartered in Oklahoma. And, and and I would just say to answer that question is, we wanna make sure that they have all the leverage in the world when they put their offer in, okay? And so going through the process, giving us their information, documentation, us going, hey, this is the best loan program for you. And then when they see that house, they're ready to roll. They go into it, they love it. Offer goes in immediately with our letter. We then follow up with a phone call to the listing agent and let them know this is a great borrower and they're ready to move on this financing. We want them to be prepared for multiple offer situations. Okay, so I know there's different kind of loans. We've talked about FHA, uh, VA, there's special loans if, yeah. if you're Indian. Now, you just said try to find the right program for them. That's right. What kind of programs do you have? to offer your clients that can help the best yeah. way to get that house? Yeah, great question. Honestly, there isn't a loan program that we don't have that I feel like um, can fit a lot of folks' situations. So anything like you mentioned from conventional to VA to rural development to down payment assistance loans to loans for folks that are we would call non-conforming loans that you maybe uh, all your income's not on your your tax returns because you write a lot of stuff off we have non-conforming loans as well for folks in those type of situations and you've got some loans also chris with no down payment yeah you know it's tough right now the yeah. economy's changed a bit that's right and if someone doesn't have a whole lot of money in pocket how can you help them out yeah great question there's a couple uh really good down payment assistance loans that we offer a lot of folks just offer one way there's a second one that we offer that for instance, on a conventional 3% down loan can provide, if qualification is met, can provide 5% assistance. So it provides uh, your down payment plus a couple percentage of your closing costs. And then heck, if the seller throws in a little bit of uh, seller concessions or seller paid closing costs, the borrower may come to the table with nothing. So very little down for down payment and closing costs, potentially, right. if yeah. the creditor is, yeah. or if the uh, borrower's got good credit income, right. if everything looks good, yeah. and then maybe even getting in with no down on a conventional loan That's right. is possible. That's absolutely right. Okay. Yep. Now, we just spent about six, seven minutes, and I just got about all the knowledge, me personally, that when I'm ready to buy again, that's awesome. So that's going to help out our listeners. If our listeners want to contact you, are you available on weekends as well? Because I know Wally has those open yeah. houses that's on right. the weekends. That's and when right. I go look at one of those houses, yeah. I walk out there, I'm ready to buy right then. That's right. I want to call Chris and get that loan yeah. program started. Yeah, great question. So a couple great ways to get a hold of us is 405-253-2276 is our phone number. Uh, my website, chrisstokemortgage.com is a second way. I do have a, an incredible team behind me that does incredible work and helps us really be the best in the market that I think we are. And we do have a weekend warrior program where someone is on call from 12 to 4 on Saturdays and Sundays and can reach us at that main number, 405-253-2276. And Chris, you said your name, Doke, is D-O-K-E, in case anybody yeah, wants. Yeah, good question. Give that phone number again and your website address again. 405-253-2276. And then chrisdokemortgage.com. That's going to set you up for success right there. That's great. Thanks, Thank Dave. you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks, Chris, Dave. great to have you here. You do a great job for Thanks. our team. I appreciate how responsive you are yeah. and the knowledge in the marketplace. It's a great partnership, and we appreciate you a lot. Awesome. Thanks so much, David Wall. If you're selling your home or buying a home and would like to schedule an appointment with Wally, call 405-330-3000 or go to wallysguarantee.com. Now back to the Your Home Sold Guaranteed radio show with your hosts, David Kay and Wally Kerr. 
Wally, you often mention timing, different times of the year, when it's the best time to buy, when it's the best time to sell. We've always talked about when school gets out, it's summer. A lot of people are looking with their families ready to, to make those changes and we're there now. So I, I assume this is this is the busiest time of the year. A lot of movement being done, people buying, people selling. But we go back to the last couple of years when rates were really changed because of the feds, because of COVID and all that stuff. So it was untraditional as far as buying and selling homes. It's busy all the time. How different has it been in the last couple of years compared to how it normally is in buying and selling homes? Yeah, you're right, Dave. I mean, it, it really was. Uh, it all hit in, what was it, 2019 when we got shut down in the state or was it 2020? 2020. Okay if memory serves me. So we thought that our whole industry was going to shut down and instead it just got busy all the time. My friends would say, my gosh, have you ever seen it busier in real estate? And my answer was always, it was an emphatic no. It's like, wait a minute, it's November and we're busy. Wait, it's, it's January and Christmas just ended and people are paying bills, but they're buying homes. And it was because rates were anywhere from, let's just say no lower than about two and a half to three, three and a quarter forever while the Fed kept the rate there at zero, at zero. The Fed's yeah. rate was zero, so money was cheap. So that market never slowed down, Dave, even in what I would normally call the normal, typical slower months. But now, with the higher interest rates in place, and now with fewer homes for sale, certainly even without fewer homes for sale, we've just returned with rates being at six and a half, seven percent There's no real super incentive for people to go out and buy when it's not the traditional buying season. There's always people buying and selling, right, Dave? Yes. I mean, there's people relocating here to Tinker. Sure. There are people that are moving out of Oklahoma. There's always people buying and selling. But now we've seen this year, especially, a return to what I would say is a more normal market. So let's define that real quick. Spring break is over. Parents start thinking about, are we going to move this year? Yes. So normally we see home sales, and I've seen this for 30 years of my career, April, May, June, July, Oh, all of a sudden, here comes July, and I want our listeners to really listen to this right now, okay? Here comes July, okay? It's June right now, and by the end of July, buyers start pulling back. Because because school is only a couple of weeks away. That's right, and they want to get the kids moved. We've talked about it before. Mm -hmm. It's hard enough to be a new kid on a block, much less be a kid at a school that you haven't gone to before, trying to make friends on the block and friends at school. So parents would love to get the kids engaged yes. and embedded into a new neighborhood. So uh, I think we're back in more of a normal market now, Dave. There's just fewer people selling right now. And why? Because people have got low interest rates in their homes. There's no real incentive or initiative for someone who's living in a good home right now, mm-hmm. and they've got a 3 or 3.5% three interest rate. Boy, you got to find them one heck of a dream home sure. to get them to jump out today. And as Chris said, maybe rates around six and a half right now, fluctuating a little bit, but that's still a pretty big rise, isn't it? Absolutely. To go from three and a half to six and a half. So fewer people are selling, Dave. About 20% less listings on the market right now than there was this time a year ago. There's plenty of demand out there still, Dave. There's just not as many buyers because of the higher rates. There's not as many sellers because there aren't as many homes for sale, because homeowners feel like that they are locked into a lower interest rate and they're just less motivated to move. And buyers wish that rates would come down. But what you and I just heard from Chris Doak just a few minutes ago is, looks like rates are gonna stay pretty stable. We're all very hopeful, if you're buying or selling, that the Fed doesn't go raise its rate again. Sure. Long-term, that typically means doesn't necessarily mean interest rates will go up, but we've also talked about the fact that interest rates kind of follow the Fed's actions. Yes. So back to this original selling season, spring and summer, you know, what I'd say is if you wanted to sell your home and get the most for it, the time is right now because we are peak demand. And I'm going to share an article here just before we wrap up our show today, Dave, that came out from the National Association of Realtors only a few days ago, and it's talking about what the prediction is coming up in the coming months. They are predicting that home values will peak, and they believe here in June, because demand peaks in June for the reasons 
that you and I just talked about. So you're going to be chasing that money if you're listening to your home the second week of July because it's starting to drop and drop and you're chasing it, chasing it, chasing it. And that's where you get in a situation, which not to get off track, but we've talked about it before. How come your home doesn't sell in four to five weeks? And boy, four to five weeks now is, oh, that's a disaster when you're talking about the end of August if you don't listen until July. So you have to get on it today and you need to have that conversation with your partner that hey next week we got to make a decision in this next week and by next saturday morning when we tune back in with with wally and dave i already know that we're ready to sell yeah if you're going to get it done this summer and you want top dollar the time to do is now here's what's really important for people to understand dave the days on the market has gone up homes aren't selling as quickly well of course they're not rates used to be three sure they were four they were five. A year ago, I looked, and rates were about 1% lower a year ago. We know they've gone up. Maybe we haven't kept track exactly how much they've gone up and over what period of time. But if rates are higher today by about a percentage point compared to a year ago, you would expect there to be fewer home sales. Now, there's fewer homes on the market, but homes are sitting longer. Buyers are aware that sellers may, you know, really need to sell a home and they may be asking for closing costs. The key here is don't let, and you hit it, Dave, is don't let your home sit on the market too long. Buyers are watching. Yeah. They can go to Zillow and see how many days a home has been on the market because Zillow keeps track yes. of that. You're more likely to get a really good price for your home as if it sells in the first, say, three to 10 days. But we've been through such a hot market, Dave, that some buyers believe that if a home isn't sold in two weeks, there's something wrong with it. You're right. But we're right. already in June. And like you said, already it will slip very quickly here in only about a six to seven week period to the late part of July. If you're a home seller, like yes. you said, I would think you'd be sitting with your partner right now thinking, OK, if we're going to do this this year, maybe we better get after it right now. Sounds like values might be the highest here in the month of June. I don't want a penny less than what I can get for my home. Maybe I better take action right now. And competition. You want to get ahead of the other people that are thinking two weeks from now, they're going to start listing in their homes. Or there's the homes that have been sitting there. And then the other people that are late to the game, you need to beat them to the punch because now there's going to be more competition as well. That makes it a little harder. Dave, I run some radio commercials on a lot of stations in Oklahoma City, including here with Tyler Media. And uh, I've been running a spot for a couple of months now that says, did you think you missed out on the market? Not a chance. I won't be running that spot for a whole lot longer, and okay. I'll tell you why. Okay. Because during this period of escalating home values, a lot of people saw their neighbors selling. They talked to people at work about selling. They watched people getting five and ten and twenty and twenty-five thousand dollars over listed price. Okay, some of that's gone away, and some people over the last say six to twelve months have thought, hmm. I wonder if I did wait too long and if I should have sold while my house was worth a peak value. And I think there are some people listening today and in the marketplace that are going to do the same thing again. Don't wait, folks, to sell your home until August when school started, September when football starts and the state yes. fair is here, October when the kids are deeply embedded in school, Thanksgiving's in November. Christmas is in December. So the right. people that want to do it right now, they can get a hold of you and tell me about the programs you have. Because someone might think, well, if it doesn't sell, now I'm stuck. But you have programs, the uh, guaranteed home sale program. You have a couple of those that could really assist people right yeah, now. Yeah, the guaranteed home sale program helps so many people who are in a home, would like to buy another one, but concerned that their current home won't sell in time. Can keep you from having to write a contingent offer on another home. And my program is very simple and we've talked about it before mm -hmm. your home sold guaranteed at a price agreeable to you or will buy it there are some restrictions there are reasonable conditions to our program dave but i'm willing to look at any home and tell you if it qualifies for our program fantastic and then if they want to get a hold of you uh th this morning get a call back today or a text just text you at 330-3000 if they want other information what can they do i'll take your call immediately after the show today at 330-3000 or visit wallyhasthebuyers.com and if you'd like to know more really about the guaranteed sale program just go to wallysguarantee.com wallysguarantee.com fantastic we'll be back in just a moment 
To schedule an appointment with Wally Kerr to help you buy or sell your home, call 405-330-3000 or go to wallysguarantee.com. Wally will be right back with more of the Your Home Sold Guaranteed radio show right here on KOKC. Buying or selling a home? Is your older home having issues in the crawl space or attic? Is your new home about to reach the end of its one-year warranty? Todd Stewart, owner of Oklahoma Home Inspection Service, has been serving residential and commercial clients since 1985. He will give you the confidence of knowing your building systems are safe and operating as they should. Enjoy the peace of mind you deserve. Call Oklahoma Home Inspection Service today at 405-366-8889. That's 405-366-8889. Finding the right mortgage can be stressful. From knowing which program fits your situation the best to identifying the best terms. Hi, I'm Chris Doak with Gateway Mortgage. I work closely with you every step of the way, from pre-qualification to helping you choose the home loan that's right for you. My promise is to provide transparency, timely communication, personal service, and closings on time. Eliminate the stress. Call me today at 405-253-2276. That's 405-253-2276. I look forward to working with you. Gateway Mortgage, a division of Gateway First Bank. NMLS 7233, Equal Housing Lender. I'm Wally Kerr, and if you didn't know, there's six big reasons why homeowners like you choose to list their home for sale with us. First is our offer to sell your home at a price agreeable to you, or we'll buy it ourselves. How can we do this? We've got an extensive list of pre-vetted home buyers for every area in the metro waiting for their dream home to come available, and that home may be yours. I'll show you our list of buyers when we meet. And our partnership with Zillow is the third reason why we have so many buyers wanting tours of homes just like yours. MLS data shows that our listings have sold faster and for more money on average for four years in a row. But don't take my word for it. We have hundreds of online reviews at both Google and Zillow. See what our customers say about us. I'm a 35-year broker with over 4,000 home closings, and I'm ready to work for you. Call me at 405-330-3000 at your home sold guaranteed realty, or simply visit wallyhasthebuyers.com. I look forward to talking to you myself. Call me at 330-3000. 330-3000. Well, Wally, we're sitting here this morning talking about homes. Our listeners are uh, eager to get out and look at some. And uh, usually have a couple of uh, open houses each weekend. And I know you probably have some uh, spectacular ones this weekend to talk about. Well, we got a big weekend for open houses today. Oh, we got good. five this weekend. All right. So I'm going to let... get my steps in. <laughs> we're going to be all over the metro. We're going to be in Edmond. We're going to be in uh, northwest Oklahoma City. We'll be in Shawnee this weekend. In fact, we have two in Edmond, and then we've got okay. one over in Nawala, kind of the Hera area. Okay. Got a beautiful, very large, six-bedroom, four-and-a-half bath home. Dave, a home like this that's in Rose Creek is perfect for families maybe who have combined. Maybe a new husband and wife match or a new couple that's matched up and each has kids. Okay. Six bedrooms, four-and-a-half baths, over 5,600 square feet, built in 2008. And I believe this one even backs up. It does to the golf course. This nice. one is open Sunday from 2 to 4. Okay. It is 17412 Hawksview Court. That home is listed for $1.2 million. Got another one in northwest Oklahoma City open in ever popular Quail Creek. But this one's exciting this week, Dave. The owner cut the price by $43,000 oh, wow. this week. Okay. From six ninety three five to six fifty. dollars He's ready to sell now. It's been reduced to sell immediately. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous remodel on the inside. Ooh. Don't judge a book by its cover. Okay, It's got a lot of appeal on the inside. Okay, Maybe not just quite as much on the outside, but that's easily done up with some paint and a little landscaping. You should really look at this one, folks. Five bed, three and a half bath, over 4,300 feet, and one of the most beautiful interior remodels that you'll ever see. And Dave, that home's only $150 a foot. And that's really wow. reasonable for the total remodel on the inside. Wow. Really kind of has two primary suites. This is 3221 Hickory Stick Road, and that is also open Sunday afternoon from 2 to 4 p.m. Okay. Got one in Shawnee this week. This is a new listing with Kelly on my team. This is number 10, Kiowa. This is in a nice area in Shawnee. It's a three-bed, three-full bath home, so that is going to serve... A few more families than just a three-bed, two-bath would. Maybe your family needs or you need that extra bathroom. Mm -hmm. This is a little under 2,300 feet. That's $270,000. Again, number 10, Kiowa. Okay. And that is open Sunday from 2 to 4 p.m. Got a great one in Edmond. Unfortunately, the buyer couldn't get their financing. We had this home on the market. It had already sold. It's back on the market. 
It is in North Edmond, just north of Waterloo Road. Okay. Right down this address. It's open from 2 to 4 again Sunday. 2520 Silverfield Lane. This is the one I told you a couple of weeks ago, Dave. Where the owners bought it for four twenty five, and put a hundred and twenty thousand oh, yes, dollars yes, in it. Yes, it is gorgeous on the inside. Okay, they took a compartmentalized floor plan, took out walls, put in power beams and headers, and really opened this floor plan. Oh up. wow! Go check out the pictures, folks, online at twenty five twenty Silverfield Lane in Edmond. It is Deer Creek School, so that's great. Just had a ten thousand dollar price reduction. Dave, I want to reiterate here, okay? They paid four twenty five for it a year and a half ago. Okay. They put one hundred and twenty thousand in it, so they've got five forty five in the home. And they're asking. It is priced at four sixty nine five. Okay. Four sixty nine five on just under two acres, with a water view from the back patio. Nice. And it is a four bedroom home, and it does have three and a half baths. Okay. That's a good one. Our last uh, open house to talk about is over in Nawala. This is the one that's just off of the Kickapoo Turnpike on two and a half acres. Dave, this is a remodeled farmhouse on the inside. It is 3900 Cactus Drive. This I like is a, that. This is a five-bedroom. <laughs> it's not arid out there. It's very, very nice. It's beautiful. There's trees. It's very pretty. It's a five-bed, two-bath. It's about 21, 2200 square feet on two and a half acres. Beautiful remodel on the inside. That's three thirty-seven five on price. Three hundred thirty-seven thousand five hundred dollars. Okay. Meet a few of our agents this weekend, and when you come by, talk to us. If you're looking for a home and you can't find what you want, let our agents know, and we'll put out a comprehensive search. We talk a lot in here, Dave, about what we call off-market properties. Yes. We talk about the guaranteed sale program that I offer. I meet with a lot of people who just aren't ready to put their house on the market yet. Or they'll look and say, Wally, I just really would like you to buy it right now. Maybe I make them an offer and they say, it's not quite what I want. Why don't you keep my home in mind, Wally, and bring me a qualified buyer if you've got one? Well, we've got them. So I've got off-market properties, a long list of homes that other buyers can't find and other agents don't know about. And so if our listeners are interested in off-market properties, my agents can help them out. Uh, go out and meet Ryan and Stephanie and Kelly and Shelly and Scotty. They're holding open houses this weekend. All of these homes that I mentioned are open from 2 to 4 p.m. Come tell us what your needs are and let us help you find that home before it hits the market and there's multiple offers on it. So two questions. One, if I come to you and I say, Wally, hey, Wally, hey, Wally. I'm looking in Yukon and I just say, what do you have out there? That's where you're bringing up the off-market stuff, right? We'll go ahead and take a look at what's out there right now that maybe they can see, maybe that they can't see, maybe some properties that are temporarily off-market, but more importantly, things that we are working on that just haven't been put on the market yet. And we do work, Dave, all the way down to about Purcell, up to about Guthrie right now. We're expanding here in the future. We're working out to Shawnee and out around the El Reno area. That is our stomping grounds and where we're working with buyers and sellers so we're happy to help you in your search for a home and more importantly if you have a home to sell it's time to sell it dave if you're going to do it don't wait until late july august september if you can accelerate your move and let's get it on the market as quickly as possible so i gotta get out sunday 2 to 4 p.m again i think you said this is the quail quick the, this is the Quail Creek one that's at hard to 3221 say. Hickory Stick Road. Is that correct? That's, that's right. the one. In, okay. That's correct. So the reason why I'm picking this one out, that's the one you said. It's totally remodeled on the inside. Um, Gorgeous. And Gorgeous. That's an interesting situation. It sounds like you're getting uh, more home for a, a wonderful price for that. Yeah, you really are. The remodeler just kind of spent everything he could spend truly on this one, Dave. Okay. And uh, and knocked the inside out literally. I yes. went inside this home when some when a lot of the walls were knocked out on drywall and he started over. That has got the most beautiful kitchen you've ever seen on the inside. It it's sounds huge. like a it's, sneaky good deal. You're going to get a great house for a great price. In real estate, we often call that a sleeper. A okay. sleeper. Something okay. that's out there that people just are kind of missing. They're not going to miss it now. Reduced $43,000 in one fell swoop from 693 to 650. 
That's a great home. If you have a chance to go by and see it, go by and meet Stephanie. Tell her you heard Dave and I on the air and take a look at that really beautiful home. And what's great is you're listening to us either while we do the show on Saturday mornings or the replay Sundays at noon. And most of these are Sundays at two o'clock. So you just got out of church. You're listening to us right now. Basically, go home, grab a sandwich, and get ready to head on out to these properties. That's it. And grab take a, a look. bite to see us. It's going to be beautiful uh, this weekend. So come out and see us this weekend. We'd love to meet you. To schedule an appointment with Wally Kerr to help you buy or sell your home, call 405 330 3000 or go to Wally's Guarantee.com. Wally will be right back with more of the Your Home Sold Guaranteed radio show right here on KOKC. I'm Wally Kerr, and if you didn't know, there's six big reasons why homeowners like you choose to list their home for sale with us. First is our offer to sell your home at a price agreeable to you, or we'll buy it ourselves. How can we do this? We've got an extensive list of pre-vetted home buyers for every area in the metro waiting for their dream home to come available, and that home may be yours. I'll show you our list of buyers when we meet. And our partnership with Zillow is the third reason why we have so many buyers wanting tours of homes just like yours. MLS data shows that our listings have sold faster and for more money on average for four years in a row. But don't take my word for it. We have hundreds of online reviews at both Google and Zillow. See what our customers say about us. I'm a 35-year broker with over 4,000 home closings, and I'm ready to work for you. Call me at 405-330-3000 at your home sold guaranteed realty, or simply visit wallyhasthebuyers.com. I look forward to talking to you myself. Call me at 330-3000. 330-3000. Buying or selling a home? Is your older home having issues in the crawl space or attic? Is your new home about to reach the end of its one-year warranty? Todd Stewart, owner of Oklahoma Home Inspection Service, has been serving residential and commercial clients since 1985. He will give you the confidence of knowing your building systems are safe and operating as they should. Enjoy the peace of mind you deserve. Call Oklahoma Home Inspection Service today at 405-366-8889. That's 405-366-8889. Finding the right mortgage can be stressful. From knowing which program fits your situation the best to identifying the best terms. Hi, I'm Chris Doak with Gateway Mortgage. I work closely with you every step of the way, from pre-qualification to helping you choose the home loan that's right for you. My promise is to provide transparency, timely communication, personal service, and closings on time. Eliminate the stress. Call me today at 405-253-2276. That's 405-253-2276. I look forward to working with you. Gateway Mortgage, a division of Gateway First Bank. NMLS 7233, Equal Housing Lender. If you're selling your home or buying a home and would like to schedule an appointment with Wally, call 405-330-3000 or go to wallysguarantee.com. Now back to the Your Home Sold Guaranteed radio show with your hosts, Dave McKay and Wally Kerr. Thank you so much for listening to us this morning. And before we go this morning, Wally, you had an article you said that you got this week. We do a lot of analysis here on our show, right, Dave? Yes. We use local numbers and what I see in the market and, and what you're observing on a consumer side. And we talk about what we see going on in the market. And then I read this from Realtor.com and I thought, yeah, that's accurate in our marketplace too. So let me share okay. just a few bullet points if that's okay. Yes. Uh, this is what the article said. This came out this week from Realtor.com. Most people know who that is. Kind of tied in closely with the National Association of Realtors. Now, anyone trying to buy or sell recently is aware, obviously, that the market has slowed from where it was a year ago, two years ago, three years ago. We know interest rates have a big play in that. We talked a little earlier. This is mortgage rates about a percent higher than a year ago. Yeah, we know that mortgage rates are about the same everywhere in the country. Okay. But this is a little different, and of course, I know this is true. You know, it's a deterrent to buyers right now with these higher interest rates, but also to homeowners, as we alluded, who feel locked into their current property because they like the rate on it, right? They just really don't want to move unless it is that dream home. Now, maybe it's back what we talked about a few minutes ago, that someone has a home. It's gone up 25, 30, 35 40% in value Mm -hmm. over the last four to six years. They may have enough cash in their home to be able to sell, put down either a huge down payment where the mortgage interest rate doesn't bother them as much that Mm -hmm. it's gone up, or maybe just purchase a home cash. So some people feel locked in. The article continued to say buyers who are willing to pay these higher rates are finding that there are fewer homes for sale, like we've talked about. There's just not as many people wanting to sell. 
20 to 22% fewer homes for sale right now compared to this time last year. Oh, wow. Boy, I looked at the Oklahoma City multi-list, and those numbers are dead on. Okay. Dead on. I should have looked at the Tulsa MLS. I'll bring those numbers back to our show next week. I bet week. it's probably okay. comparable. I think it's probably very, very consistent across most of the bigger cities in the nation. So fewer homes for sale. And then, of course, many sellers report being concerned about selling their home and actually finding a suitable replacement home. So every bit of that's what we've been talking about on our shows here for the last couple of weeks. Yes. Now confirmed nationwide by Realtor.com. Home prices are expected to peak this month. I was quoting that today because of this article. And current trends show, Dave, that home prices aren't expected to surpass what they hit last June. So they're Hmm. actually not expecting... I saw their estimation about 1.2% lower this June on average sales price than what it was last year in June. I did see the article say that was the first time that's happened in a long time because values have been rising in Oklahoma for a long time. We haven't been through a recession or a market correction in a long time, have we? Yes. No, we haven't. Dave, you bought your home how many years ago? It's been about seven and a half years now. So... As you watched your home value over the last seven and a half years, did you ever see a year where it didn't go up? No. That's what's being predicted now. They're saying in this article, maybe only about one to one and a half percent lower, but they don't expect home values to hit the same peak that they did last year. And they say this will be the first time in a long, long time. But I'm telling you, Dave, I've been in real estate 35 years. This market, except for a few little peaks and valleys in 1987, you know, back in the mid nineties, late nineties, maybe two thousand six, seven, and eight, values have just been going up. So keep that in mind. If you're trying to judge whether you should sell your home or not, we talked about today that values are peaking right now. Yes. And it doesn't look like that they're gonna peak as much as they did last June. Where do they go from here? I think the one thing we didn't talk about on the show today that we should finalize our show with today, Dave, is There's nothing that says that rates aren't going to go up more. I'd like to think they wouldn't. I'm in real estate. It doesn't help my buyers. It doesn't help my sellers because it cuts back on the number of buyers in the marketplace. There's some resistance there. We talked a couple of weeks ago that buyers really want, in a national poll, they want to see rates back down around 5.5%. And it's believed that if they got down to five and a half, that it would flood the market today. Yes. Well, it's clear that rates are not going to hit five and a half anytime soon. Is there a chance they could continue to go up? Sure there is. Sure. I'm not a gambler. So if I've got a home and I know values could be even within one to one and a half percent of how high they got last year, I'm not going to hang on and hope that they're going to be higher next year. If the rates go up, there will be fewer buyers there will be more inventory on the market, that will lead to a softening in prices. More inventory, less demand, simple economics. You know, those home prices are going to have to compensate and come down. And Dave, that's already happening in some parts of the country. So good things may come for buyers who wait, but I can't promise that. There may be more inventory that comes on the market. That would provide some relief for buyers because prices would soften. There's a whole lot that goes into this like you said a minute ago if you're thinking about selling market values are really good right now okay the number of available homes is pretty low there's not as many people selling and there are buyers looking because it's time of year i would be selling now and i would be buying now if i could buy the right home and i just think that's good solid advice for for our listeners and we talked about there's a lot of different types of buyers and sellers and there's a lot of different uh, situations you mentioned someone might be in their current home for 20 years they have a lot of equity so they may be able to fudge a little bit on those rates they may not be as concerned about that so What helps them in selling their home is if they have to soften just a little bit on the back end, they're now buyers and now they're in a really good spot because they have the equity in their home. They're going to get a good value for the other people that have been waiting and those home prices might start to uh, soften a little bit as well. So they can make out good if they're in that situation. Yeah, this is a good point. I think there's a lot of people that have a couple hundred thousand dollars equity in their pocket. What if you went out and bought a $300,000 home, had a $200,000 down payment, only borrowed $100,000. It's not a huge payment anyway. 
Maybe you buy it and the rate is six and a half or seven. And then if rates drop, you go in a couple of years from now and refinance. So there's some good options available for people. And we, we want to be good consultants. And if you're buying or selling, I would absolutely love to help you do so. We'll continue to try to offer really good advice here for our listeners so that they can make an informed decision about what to do in buying and selling real estate. Well, I was going to say that you have so many programs that make it easy and you have 99% of the answers. So if someone is ready to buy or sell or they have questions, they just need to contact you. Enjoyed being with you again here today, Dave. Yeah, you have a great day. You've been listening to the Your Home Sold Guaranteed Radio Show with Wally Kerr. Heard every Saturday morning at 7 a.m. and replayed on Sundays at noon here on 1520 KOKC and 95.3 FM. Wally's name is his promise. Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. To speak with Wally directly about selling your home or buying, call now to schedule an appointment. 405-330-3000. That's 405-330-3000. Or go to wallysguarantee.com. That's wallysguarantee.com. 